All right, how many times does a company need to blow away the numbers before investors and analysts stop underestimating it? That's what I'm wondering about Constellation Brands, the company that imports some of the most popular Mexican beers in the United States, Corona, Modelo, Pacifico. They also have a big wine business, including the Red Hot Prisoner brand and some hard liquor, too, like Casa Noble, Tequila, and High West Whiskey, Svetka Vodka. Year after year, quarter after quarter, Constellation keeps delivering stellar results. The darn stock has been a juggernaut, which is why I've been recommending it so aggressively for ages. It's now up 36% just since the beginning of the year. But no matter how well they do, it seems somebody still hasn't gotten the memo. Witness this morning when Constellation reported, you guessed it, another amazing quarter. A monster 30-cent earnings beat off a $2.17 basis, higher than expected sales, including beer sales up nearly 13%, expanding gross margins. Thanks to Corona, Modelo, Pacifico, Constellation counted for more than 60% of the growth in the total high-end beer category. That's insane! Even better, the company raised its full-year earnings forecast substantially, which helped the stock surge up 4% today, brand new all-time high. And if history is any guide, this move could be far from over. So let's check in with Rob Sands, the extraordinarily bankable president and CEO of Constellation Brands. Learn more about the quarter and his company's prospects. Mr. Sands, welcome back to Man Money. Thanks, Jim. How are you? All right, Rob, it's getting to be a little bit of a habit. Because this was a monster quarter, I want to quote you from your release. Our second quarter results are a testament to the fact that our total beverage alcohol strategy is paying off. Explain TBA to our viewers for those who are still not in this stock. Well, Jim, you know, TBA is uh, principally a retail strategy because we sell all of our beverage alcohol products, beer, wine, and spirits, uh, at our retail customers. And... uh, Basically, uh, beverage alcohol is the most important, fastest growing, and most profitable category to retail today. So uh, being the number one growth provider to uh, our retail customers, uh, we're in a great position to capitalize on that. That's what we call our TBA strategy. Now, what I thought was interesting was you said it hasn't always been like that, that the consumer has changed and you've changed with the consumer. Well, yes, the consumer has changed. Uh, if you think back historically, it was very common that, you know, a person only drank one thing. Uh, you only drank scotch or you only drank a single wine or a single brand of beer. Now, today, 55 percent or the majority of consumers are drinking across all three categories. So being an all three category player, that puts us in a great position relative to the consumer. Now, you keep picking up different brands. Sometimes I wonder, because you've got so many good ones, uh, whether you just you left out the Casa Noble this time. I didn't hear that much about, about High West. But is that just because you've got so much that's hitting that you try to talk about Funky Buddha this time, the new acquisitions? There are many brands in your portfolio, though, that are growing at really high rates, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, Casa Noble, Tequila, and High West are two of them that are growing at high double-digit rates. Wow. As you mentioned, Funky Buddha is uh, our latest brand acquisition. So, yeah, we talked about that. But I also mentioned that our portfolio of newly acquired brands, brands that we've purchased in the last couple of years, uh, is growing high double digits and contributing uh, a a margin of 60 percent. Now, that's a contribution margin to the bottom line. So uh, with high double digit growth and that kind of a contribution margin, Uh, our tuck-in acquisition strategy is working really well. Now, how did you get a 400 basis point improvement when most of the companies I'm dealing with in any sort of consumer packaged goods have had a decline in margins this quarter? Well, it's a number of things. Number one, uh, you know, we've got very strong volume growth, and therefore that enables us to to leverage our fixed overheads, both in manufacturing and SG&A, which is driving... Uh, margin increases. And then number two, uh, operationally, especially in our beer operations in Mexico, uh, we're, we're really seeing tremendous efficiencies that have been created as we've expanded our production facilities in Nava and purchased and expanded our production facility in Obregón, Mexico. Now, you are still unhappy with your retail, dist- with the distribution. I mean, at the end of your call, I mean, I, 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 you kind of took me by surprise because you said, listen, we're still disappointed with the way that we're sold. I mean, you know, how much more can you ask for? But I guess there is more to be asked for, isn't there? Well, yeah, and that, that's really the point. Um, we're making distribution gains. We've got tremendous uh, growth in sales and volume. 
but we are still don't we still don't have the distribution and the shelf space that we ought to have given our growth and given our profitability to the retailer. So, you know, I was really making the point that there's that, that that's a good news story because right. given that there's a lot of room to grow distribution and shelf space, that means that uh, our growth is going to be sustainable well into the future. All right. Now, I, you mentioned the 120 days of summer marketing campaign, which was huge. You talked about July 4th being the biggest day for beer. You mentioned casually NFL. How's the NFL doing for you? NFL is doing well for us. Um, you know, we advertise on the uh, NFL. I know that uh, uh, the NFL ratings have been somewhat weak, but it continues to be a very good uh, vehicle uh, for Constellation and for our products. It's not, you know, we're not one of the biggest a sports advertisers, uh, but it is a good advertising vehicle for um, some of our products, uh, especially our beer products. Well, look, it was a remarkable quarter. Uh, one day everybody will realize, hopefully like we do on Mad Money, that you are the best consumer packaged good company in the world right now, and you've been consistently. Congratulations to you, Rob Sands, President and CEO of Constellation Brands. Good to see you, sir. Thanks a lot, Jim. All right. This is what it looks like to have the best product portfolio and to build on it and build on it and build on it each quarter. That's why I think this company is so terrific and why Rob Sands is so bankable. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.